God has made you a beautiful, encouraging, courageous, and generous human being. And with all of my heart, I choose you. As our friends and family have watched, encouraged, and prayed for us for so long, today I'll finally make that ultimate commitment to you. As God has chosen you for me, I promise to never forsake that and to forever love and cherish you. I will always support you in all that you do and always be your biggest fan. I promise to never stop seeking to grow spiritually and in unity with you. As God commanded, I promise to put you first and love you unconditionally. With Christ as our cornerstone, you bet, above all, will come first as I devote my life to you. I promise to lead our home with a God-centered focus, to provide for you and care for you no matter what the circumstances. I promise to take your family as my own and love them as my own. When the times get hard, I pledge to never leave and to never give up, to never stop fighting for you, to never stop praying for you, and to always trust in you. Beth, on this day, we start our next chapter. And though things may get hard, I can't imagine facing the things life throws with at us with anyone else. So I promise to always keep you warm because, well, when God made you, He put all the warmth in your heart. And your poor little toes will always need my heat. <laughs> I love you for who you are today and who you will become. You, Beth, are the princess of my dreams, my best friend, my soulmate, and who I vow to spend the rest of my life with. Paul. I am so incredibly blessed because God thought I deserved a love like yours. He has been planning this covenant before our time. And all of this is beautiful today. The candles and the dresses, the tuxes and the flowers. But there is something roaring underneath it all. And if we miss it, then today's occasion will be shallow. Because the real intent behind all of this is that we might know and grasp God's great love for us. Despite being people who prefer what was created rather than our Creator, Paul, I promise to support you and to comfort you, to let you protect me and lead me. I promise to fight for you, not against you. I promise to seek your counsel and take risks together, and try very hard to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. God has marked you with greatness. I promise to delight in, encourage, and celebrate that greatness, both when our love is simple and when it proves to be difficult. Paul, you're a man of such noble character. It is your spirit that inspires me and your hand that I will hold for all of our days. I promise to live open-handedly and selflessly. Most importantly, I promise to always do life with you. I'm so in love with you. In the greatest decisions of my life, of choosing to follow Christ and choosing to marry you, there's no turning back. You have won my heart. I love you, Paul, and in all these things, I'll be true. Paul, we kiss you now. Polly Pocket, Paul Wayne, Sue.